Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our Sirenvar campaign. In the last episode, we started off as Salafail Garn here, and we tried to unite as much of the Deepwoods as we could under our banner. And we are very close to being able to form Sirenvar itself. Uh, we just need three more provinces in the Deepwoods region. And then we will actually integrate all of our vassals. So that's pretty exciting. That means we'll get all this land for free, and we don't really have to worry about if they are disloyal or not. Uh, the four vassals we have are Sela Skotha, we have Sala Ahin, Sala Ghul, and Sala Senag. Uh, I don't know if I said all those right, but you know what? Close enough. <laughs> so we are currently just waiting for truces to be up. Um, if we look up here, we have a truce with almost everyone around us. Beast Eater, Bramble Skinner, Sap Chopper, and Cursed Howl. So yeah, we have to be at peace for a little bit here while we wait for... Uh, beast eater truce to be up which is this guy right here who's allied with cursed howl who i also want to uh eat which we can do with the nonco blood rice so that is good we do have some rebels that want to pop up not for a while though so let's get to drilling uh, i would rather drill than make a little bit of money right now as for our mission tree here um stability of three prestige of at least zero religious unity of 100 percent uh i don't know if we will Get this done in time. Hmm. Oh, wow. We can actually integrate all of our Wood Elven vassals before we even form Siren Bar. Interesting. Okay. Well, another option we have is we could break our alliance with our allies here and try and subjugate them. But uh, I don't know if that's really worth it entirely. Uh, they do have a lot of troops compared to us. A lot of troops, so maybe we uh, we just get them vassal. We just uh, take them out after we form Siren Bar. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, as for uh, royal marriages, Salaya, you are which one? They all look the same. No, Salamina. No, I'm not willing to royal marry my uh, allies because I'm probably going to want to take them out sooner rather than later. Go ahead and improve with our subjects. Just make sure they stay somewhat happy. Uh, let's state this up. Might as well we have the points for it. Orcish majority is expelled. That's nice. Very nice. Uh, we can take tech. We could take military tech. Get up to tech four. Uh, am I developing renaissance? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. So we'll go ahead. We will take tech four. It's expensive, but... I mean, that makes us very, very strong. We also uh, get some power projection off of that, which is good. Always love me some power projection. Uh, we are in low crown land. I can revoke some, though. The adventurers will be a little bit mad. Uh, let's give them generous quest rewards. It takes us down even farther. That's okay. That will eventually bring their loyalty up to a point where it's more reasonable. Uh, I would just take it away anyways, but uh, yeah. Elven manpower is hard to come by, so... I'm not going to waste it on rebels if I don't have to. Gotta be careful with that manpower. Nice. Some more orcs are gone. Nope. 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 No royal marriages are needed. Nice. More orcs are gone. Uh, Fay Court. Do we have? No. Almost all orcs are gone. Look here. Uh, yeah, two more orcish provinces and then one goblin, which is good. Very good. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and state this up. Why not? Okay, only one more Orcish province to go. Then I think we still have, like, Orcish uh, minorities, right? Yeah, we do. We'll want to get those out as well, I think. All right, we're making 1.77 crowns a month. Not too bad. Everyone is just about loyal at this point. Except for Sala Ahin, who is, refuses to uh, submit. So it's okay. That is okay. Uh, family ties, sure, 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 sure. And I think we're almost ready to go to war... Yes, we are ready to go to war with uh, Beast Eater, so let's do that. Now, we are Tech Force. So we have an advantage over... Th what? No. No. Who are we going to war with? No. Ah. <laughs> I'm declaring war here, not you. I don't need your alliance. Okay, let's declare on Beast Eater. We'll go anti-monstrous uh, conquest here. 
and let's move in we will attack this guy he does have a four six general so this is gonna hurt a lot but we do have the miltech advantage so hopefully we're able to uh to win yeah there we go All right but it was a good point yeah i'll lose the prestige that's fine uh let's send our troops up into these areas here just to try and make sure they don't spawn anything new then we'll move over and start taking all of Beastway or whatever this guy, Beast Eater, sorry, Beast Eater, all of his land, which is good for us. All right, move over, start taking the capital. Uh, if my vassal wants to sit there, they are more than welcome to. Uh, actually, no, I want to take my leader off, as that is, um, well, that's my, uh, what are they called here? Prince. That's my prince. So I'd rather him not die. That'd be bad. Desires of the flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't care. <laughs> you do you. You do you. Now, our vassal has lots of cores up here, so we will go ahead and hand them all off to them. Uh, that way I don't have to core anything. Sounds great. Sounds great to me, at least. <laughs> not coring things is definitely preferable. No! Okay. Thank you, my vassal, for abandoning me and leaving my one guy to die. I appreciate that. Telescotha, and then this. Has this finished yet? It's almost done. Hey, get off that, get off of that province. Um, shoot. I guess I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that. Or no, I'll just leave them there. Is there anyone bordering them up there? No. So they'll automatically complete it and we can go and we can finish them off afterwards. Uh, actually, I want to separate piece them out. There we go. Go ahead and give me money. Thank you very much. Coalition does not matter. Does not matter. Uh, and then as for you, go ahead and snag all of these provinces. Awesome. And go ahead and take money as well. Beautiful. So is there any vassal I can release here? Uh, no one that I want, so we're gonna have to core that up manually. Uh, but first, we can form Siren Bar. So we'll unite the Deep Woods here. Uh, Cutthroat will change to Siren Bar, we will get new missions, we'll become a kingdom, all of our vassals will be integrated, and we gain some prestige, and we'll change our national ideas. Which would be pretty cool. Go ahead and unite it. Yes, please, we'll take the new ideas. So, new ideas. We have plus one attrition for enemies and plus 20% movement speed. And we have plus 25% institution spread, plus one yearly legitimacy, minus 15% stab cost modifier, plus 15% land fire damage, plus 10% goods produced, and plus 25% supply limit modifier, plus 20% sp uh, foreign spy network detection, and plus 20% spy network construction, plus 0.1 infantry fire, and finally, plus 20% domestic trade power. Pretty good ideas there, especially the later it goes into the game. All right, uh, we are going to have to demand the Oak Oath here, in which I believe we're going to ask all of uh, the other nations to become our vassals. I'm gonna wait until they're done with the war though, because I don't know if that affects it or not. Uh, and I would rather not uh, have them say no because they're at war. Seems like that would be kind of foolish. Uh, what I will do though, is I will state up everything here that I integrated from my vassals. I feel like it would be a good idea to do so uh, and we'll move you down into here and we'll have to go and take out those rebels that are down in our now our lands not our vassal's lands here we go orcish minority dwindles very very good we can choose some new rivals harpy lin is a new rival okay fair enough fair enough goblin majority expelled Let's start improving with Salah Elin. Maybe they'll say yes if I improve relations with them. And let's go bop these rebels on the head, shall we? Boom. Okay. We can also mothball this. We don't need to pay for it. Uh, we can begin to core all of that up. You want access? That's fine. And now everybody is at peace. Are you willing to accept an alliance? No, because I recently said no to it. All right. Well, let us demand the Oak Oath. The destruction of the Orcish invaders has put us in the position of foremost prominence among the remaining Wood Elven states. We shall demand an oath of fealty from the remaining kings in order to re in order to unite our people for the first time in history. 
Any who might foolishly decline this generous offer would be brought to heal by force. Yes, by force. We lose 200 Diplo power, and in a month or so, they will get the submit to Sirenvar. We will see what they decide. I don't care if Cursed Hal hates me. They hate me anyway, so... Okay. So, Salah Ayeth says yes. Uh, Salah Elin says no. And Salamina says yes. Ooh, and Salah Drenin also says no. That's a surprise. Okay, so, well, two of them accepted. Uh, not too bad. They're gonna be not thrilled with me because I own land of theirs. Uh, let's go to the nobles and let's go ahead and put back on strong duchies to keep everybody all happy with me. Provoke some land there. Salaith wants a royal marriage. Yes, I will go ahead and do that. You are a loyal vassal, and I respect that. Now, as for all of you, you must all die. We have a CB, a subjugation CB, on these guys. Okay, Saladrenin. Uh, good relations. Yes, I'm going to wait for the truce, I think, with Salah Elin to be up in three years. Because I can subjugate them in one war, and then I can just take these guys' land um, without having to co them. Because they're only at 36%. And then Sap Chopper, we just have to wait for our truce. Everything is looking good. Bramble Skinner? Uh, Bramble Skinner, I'm actually good to go for war right now. And they have no allies, so let's do that real quick. Just uh, pop on over there, say hello, send over 3,000 troops, the minimum amount we need. Just have a have a leader, just in case. You never know. Uh, production research flawed, okay. And we do have another mission completed, and we actually have quite a few. And it's based on owning uh, each of these groves. Now, it does cost a lot of money and points to do, but it gives us some development and some mercantilism. But before I do all of that, I want to develop our capital. Our capital needs to be at at least 20 development. Now I'm looking here for anything that might give us some uh, feudalism, I think it is. Yeah, feudalism. And I'm not currently seeing any of it, um, which is interesting. I mean, we have towards the future here. Prestige of at least 50, legitimacy of at least 95. But that's not for a while. Yeah, that's definitely not for a while. Uh, so let's go ahead and develop up the institution here in our capital. It's going to be expensive, but that's okay. Now, does this mission give... It does give a center of trade, so let's do this. Uh, as Siren Var coalesces into a true state, our capital is sorely lacking compared to the other great cities of Kanor. If we are to truly assume a newfound position of importance, we must renovate the capital to reflect the future orientation of our glorious state. We get a level one center of trade. And then we also have uh, Siren Bar Renaissance. The decision to improve the capital has proven providential. Even now, throngs of traders and other peoples from across Kanor have begun to engage with our realm in mass. We should ensure that this engagement will be beneficial for the state by adopting any of the customs or institutions that the outside world has innovated upon them. So we lose 150 of each monarch point. That's a lot. But we get Siren Bar Renaissance for 60 years. Giving us idea cost, institution spread, and innovativeness gain. Honestly, not too shabby. We'll go ahead and do that. Now, we do still need to make sure we fully develop up feudalism here. Uh, we are gaining renaissance very slowly because... Oh, we will because the development of our capital. Uh, we could upgrade this. No point, though. And we need to probably a couple more. We'll do one point of military development there. There we go. Gift from the Wild. So this is a Fey event. Uh, one fine day during your daily walk through the private wood, you find the most curious sight. A few bowls and bags overflowing with ripe fruit and golden trinkets. The objects are in two distinct piles, one with gleaming riches and the other with covered, shrouded secret goods. You spy a small scroll between the two piles, elevated above the muddy ground on a plinth, the paper sumptuous and gilted. Lilting and spidery script decorate the page. Dear Oberon, a fine day to you. We don't forget our friends, and we're truly sorry for what happened last time. So here's a gift for you. No strings attached, we swear. Go ahead and open the boxes. You know what you want. You know you want to know what's within. Shush, I was the one who was supposed to be speaking. Don't listen to them. Go ahead and take a few coins. We don't need them. So we can either open the hidden stuff and gain some monarch points, or we can take the money. 
Uh, I think we're going to take the money just because I want to try and uh, get back towards the Sealy Court a little bit here. All right, and that means that we can actually embrace the institution, and we will do that. Why not? Why not? We can also purchase an Age ability, and I think Manpower Recovery Speed is going to be the play for us. None of the other ones really have a huge bonus, so making sure we can get some troops back is important to me. All right, and we'll just continue this war. All good, all good. Sala Elin, why would you say no? I guess my real question is, why would Sala Drenin say no to being vassalized? I don't know. They're pretty small. I don't own any of their cores. Kind of weird. But, I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll take you take your country one way or the other. One way or the other. Uh, we could take military tech here. Uh, I think we'll hold off, though. Not about to max out. And it would give us unbalanced research. And I don't really need tech 5. No one around me even has tech 4 yet. Uh, my vassal does, actually. Yeah, no one else does, so I'm not too worried about it. We do have another merchant, but again, uh, nothing that I can do about that. My rival? Yeah, let's go ahead and throw an embargo on you just to get a little bit more power projection. Sounds good. We have some rebels that want to pop up Beast Eater, so we got to go back up north. Up north we go. Yeah, Sally Lin, fully maxed out. Sally Aeth, we could improve with you, so let's do that. And I don't really care about improving Sally Drennan. I do want to keep Sally Mina happy with me, though. Let's do that. Also, have we Royal Merity? We have not. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure that they stay as loyal as possible. Very good, very good. Adventures insult the clergy. Uh, oof. Their loyalty, all their loyalty, is very, very low right now. Which is not preferable, obviously. Uh, let's turn off the edict here. Save a little bit more money. We're making really good money right now. Um, I probably want to build up a couple more troops. We'll build another two. Monopoly Company founded. 300 crowns or 50 Diplo power. We're going to go for the money and we're going to complete one of these missions. So Flower Grove. Uh, which one is our capital? Here it is. So Hunter's Grove. The Hunter's Grove is home to the mightiest, most twisted beasts of the Deep Woods. Those who dare to try and tame it soon grow into warriors and rival even the forest orcish invaders in their might. Providing they survive, of course. Home to Clan Felgarn, the grove pro provides perhaps the most sporting hunts in all of Kanor. The giant malformed pets of the Fae crash through the woods, splintering the ancient trees as they stalk their prey with venomous claws, with rows of teeth so numerous that one could hardly take count before they'd taken into them. We lose 300 crowns, 100 of each monarch point, but we gain 3 development and we gain 4 mercantilism. Interesting. That's a, I mean, that's a lot of mercantilism. That's a couple hundred points of Diplo. Uh, yeah, I'll take inflation for admin points. Thank you. Uh, what's our inflation like, though? Just a question. Just a question. Oh, it's fine. Why? Whoa. Why is my inflation going up? Gold. Oh. I own gold. Well. Okay. Yeah. Let's get that up developed a little bit. Okay. I didn't even realize that we had that gold. That is very good. I might have pointed that out in the first episode. It's been a while since I recorded the first episode, so I did forget a couple of things, most likely. Uh, we can go ahead and state all of this up now. That sounds good. Another mission complete. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for the Flower Grove, the one up north. So a name like the Flower Grove would surely put the mind at ease. Wouldn't it be one of the loveliest in the wood? With those soft glowing bulbs lending it light, with the vibrant colors of the ever-blooming flowers, the Skotha would call it lovely indeed. But who doesn't adore their home? Few others would, as the flowers were important enough to earn the grove's name only thanks to the great danger they pose. Every inhabitant of the grove need to make themselves a botanist, perhaps even an alchemist, for the ease with which one could find danger in its beautiful flora. From friendly-looking fruits that can rot the gut, to pollens that set all manner of strange hazes over the mind, even a poorly judged step can find thorns filled with Canar's most potent toxins ripping through the sole of a traveler's boot. So we gain three development, and gain four mercantilism. That's definitely not a not a friendly flower place. I'll give you that. Not a friendly flower place. Curse of a child. No! The Fae stole my kid! Living so close to the influence of the Fae, it is expected that strategy trikes more often than it boons. Especially favored for their mischief are loved children, for their pranks affect both the target and bring sorrow to their family. 
This day they have chosen your heir for their fun, causing great grief to everyone, and most importantly, you. Well, rip. They're gone. Oh well, anyways. <laughs> we'll, we'll make another one, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's get you into... Uh, well, that was my good general, though. Ooh. Get you somewhere where I can, you know, not lose my power to attrition. Sap Chopper. A truce is up in one year, so let's get ready for that. Uh, I suppose we'll have to move down south then. Yeah, there is no supply limit in the deep woods. No supply limit whatsoever. Candlelit Court. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose the money and gain corruption. No thanks on losing the stability. I'm good. Thank you for the offer, though, game. I mean, that was kind of you. Huh, okay. Um, I guess if you were gonna speed run this, you would want to vassalize all the other people before. Do the mission as whoever you started as. Integrate them all, then form Siren Bar. But I'm not too worried about it. We are just chilling. That is what we're doing. We are just chilling. All right, can I... Put down these rebels, or am I actually going to have to go fight them? Please don't make me go fight them. I don't want to. Ah, they are. They are, unfortunately, going to do that. Unless I boost my stab up, then maybe we can uh, hold them off. All power costs. I can hire a national unrest guy. Uh, I probably should hire a level 2 advisor everywhere. I mean, we can afford it, so yeah, let's do it. I'll get rid of them, and then we can switch back to the power cost guy right before we uh, we tech up. I am willing to pay money for that. That's not a problem. All right, Salamina, that is up. So our rebel or our vassals could now rebel if they really wanted to, though I don't think they do. Uh, all provinces in the outward Gladeway province group are owned by me. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, this Gladeway was not colonized, which means we're gonna have to go for like expansion ideas first and ooh, better points uh we're gonna have to go expansion ideas first that way we can finish that out oh my goodness really can i just like trade out that uh stat gain for losing all this money uh, at least we didn't lose the max amount just most of it <laughs> just most of it yeah we'll take some loans it's fine we have a gold mine so loans are not the end of the world all right, Sela Elin. Sela Elin. Ooh, subjugation. When does my subjugation CB end, by the way? That is an important thing I must look at. In 1494. Okay. Okay. You don't have cores there. You do have cores there. So I can declare reconquest here for Sela Drennan. So let's go for this, Sela Elin. Subjugation. Good relations. Well, I can change that. Unless you want to become a vassal. Nope. Okay. Send an insult. Bring the troops together. And, uh, yeah. Nothing personal, kid. Nothing personal. We'll even cobelligerize you. And we will move in. Do one trip there. Do one trip there. We will stay unified here for a moment. Bring these two up. I want to go and fight their armies. Um... Yeah, because they'll cause problems if I don't do that. Chase them down. Okay, even with a huge tech advantage. Um, well, it's not huge. They're tech 4 now. But still, even with a tech advantage, we uh, we took quite a beating there. Quite a beating. Let's just follow them all the way back to where they're retreating and wipe them. There we go. As for you guys, let's leave uh, minimum amount to siege. And the rest of you can quickly go occupy some stuff. Perfect. Uh, we have fully improved relations with people. Oh, okay. They just hired some mercenaries. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Yep. I, I should have figured that they would do something like that. Uh, my bad. Uh, okay. Well, things have gone from bad to worse. So much for those men. Didn't really think they would work up like that. But, uh, here we are. Come on. Let's get this siege. Thank you. I should be able to piece you out now. Uh, I'm not going to vassalize you. I'm just going to take all your land and take your money. That is what we are going to do. Okay, how are they looking on their troops now? Where did they go? Oh, they teleported over there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we're going to go back to Saladrin in here. I want to try and 
catch their army. That way they're willing to peace out. There we go. Okay. Now they should be willing to be fully annexed. No. They're not. They still have a couple of provinces that are not sieged down. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now you should be willing to get fully annexed. Yes. Thank you. I will not be releasing you as a vassal. You don't deserve it. Mm. As for you, you are going to give that province back. And then... I mean, I don't want them to stay this large. Like, I want to have control over the teleporting bits. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What? Oh, I have to just... Uh, I have to just vassalize them. I'll give that back to the other vassal. They won't accept that. That is, uh, that's an interesting thing that you would do there. Not sure why that is like the the line in the sand you're willing to draw, but okay. There you go. You're happy. Thank you. Okay. So we now have another vassal who's going to be very disloyal. Very disloyal. But that's fine. We'll deal with it. Uh, mission fulfilled toward unification. We own 40 provinces within the deep woods. So while Sirenvar is by far the most dominant realm in the Deep Woods, we have yet to exert full control over our homeland. We must remedy this by bringing any who might resist, uh, who might resist our designs into submission. Only through unification might we hope to achieve our rightful place in Kanor. So we gain five prestige and seventy-five diplo and military power. Okay. Well, uh, let's go for these guys then. We'll finish them off. Harpy Lynn, no longer a valid rival. Yeah, it looks like they're they're dying out there. Which makes sense. That is usually what happens. Go ahead and revoke that embargo. And no no, no don't don't debase. Go ahead and pay off the loans. And declare war on Sap Chopper. They're defending against Corvuria. Well, isn't that interesting? Uh don't really care. Anti monstrous conquest, please. Thank you. Move in, hit him, move on. I do need to send at least a thousand troops down here to make sure that Corvaria doesn't occupy this. They already did. I hope they don't take it. That would be disappointing. I'll go fight uh, these guys. Since they have that good general. I don't want my vassals to go and get wrecked by them. Yep, go ahead and give me all your money here. Ooh, money or stab? I mean, stability, right? That's a That's an easy choice to make. I can't see what's going on in there, but I think that's a colony, and therefore I am not going to go walk into that. Uh, I don't want to fight 6,000 native goblins. Doesn't sound enjoyable to me. I will simply pass on that. Thank you for the offer, though, game. Instead, I will simply stay out here and be safe and see things down. Like a, like a smart guy. Come on. Come on. Give me the siege. Really? How many times we get sent off 49%? Thank you. All right, Cursed Hal. Look, all I want is this province and your money. That's it. Okay, and get rid of your cores on me, actually. Yeah, you don't need those. You don't need those. Thank you. Go ahead and core that up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Knight, come down here. Corberia, look, man, you're causing me lots of problems here. Oh, is that Corberia right there? No, that's green. Yeah, that's green. That's Ordia. Okay. okay. Corveria, you d who are you at war with, Corveria, by the way? Who are you, like, actually declaring war on? On Sap Chopper. Well, that does have to be them. Uh, and yet they're not piecing out. And I need this, so I can't piece out either. We're at a bit of a standstill here, my guy. We're at a bit of a standstill. Uh, go kill those troops, please. Teleport. Never mind. He's gonna he's gonna quarter himself. There we go. Take him out. Now he should be able to peace out with Corvuria. I hope. I really do hope. Uh, have we maxed out our approved relations with you? Not entirely. So we'll get back to doing that. Uh, is everybody loyal? Well, they're they're kind of close to not being loyal. Uh, we're definitely going to want to integrate them rather soon. So I would like to land for myself. Colonial discovery. Uh, I'll take the diplo points, please. I will take diplo tech. Uh, it's 
probably about time to take uh, Military Tech 6. We're not maxed out, though, so we'll be all right. We'll go help our vassal here. Come on, Corvaria. You know you want to peace out, buddy. You do. Like, there's no reason for you to sit in this war for this long. Okay, actually, we are maxed out on mill points. Uh, then I will take Tech 6. Sure. Go ahead and upgrade our cavalry. We have a couple cav. I think we have one. Yeah, one. We may want to get uh, one or two more. Probably another one more, and then, like, get up to that many troops. That way, hopefully, they stay more loyal. Because right now, I think the majority of their disloyalty is coming from the fact that we are not as... Well, not strong enough when it comes to military stuff. I mean, I could just take this and then peace out. Because I don't think Corvuria is going to have enough war score to ever peace out. Um, yeah. They, well, they have a little bit, but not enough. I'm just worried that Corvuria is going to take this, and then we have to fight Corvuria, which would suck. But, you know what? I'm not going to stay here forever, so let's just take that. Let Corvuria do their thing. Hopefully they uh, they just don't take that one province in the deep woods. I don't know if they can even see it right now. Are you kidding me? They didn't even take anything? I hate you, Corvaria. I really do. All right, well, let's complete the Thorn Grove before we end off here. Uh, the Thorn Grove of Drennan lies at the center of the deep woods. It stands as perhaps the most overtly menacing part of the forest. While brambles and spines are nothing unusual in any part of the world, or any part of the wood, even the trees on... Wow, I'm going to restart that sentence. My goodness. Uh, while brambles and spines are nothing unusual in any part of the wood, even the trees take on a warped and thorny appearance this deep in the groves. While quite thoroughly cleansed of goblins and other rivals to the elves, the region was perhaps one of the most tightly held by the Fey. The spirit sway has long been quite firm with the pathways, and even whole villages seem to face in and out of the material plane on a whim. So we lose 459 crowns, so it's, it's getting more expensive. Uh, 100 of each admin point, but we gain mercantilism and development. How much do we need for this? It's 459 still. Okay, well, let's state up uh, Drennan here. I think that is a good idea. I think this is a good place to end it off. We have uh, almost completely secured the deep woods for ourselves. We still have this one little province right here that we'll go for when uh, that truce is up, which is not too big of a deal. Uh, we'll start going down our mission trees. This will be a little bit shorter of a uh, of a series, definitely. But that is okay because the uh, the new stuff is going to be releasing with the Warlords of Hales update, hopefully, uh, pretty soon. So we'll want to make sure we are doing lots and lots of that. But for today, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.